or Celine. Final song fits perfectly. Okay, they'll never see it coming. So it's gonna be the last surprise. I'll find a way to make that reference any chance I get. I have no shame. I am the Dark Seraph. Look, I don't know if I've introduced myself or not. Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, festival stuff. Uh, cryptic stuff with Reen. Let's go. Sarah. Do it. schoolhouse it's got a wicked aura on it the time has come to at this hour. Where's the bell tolling come from? Toll coming from. That's what it was supposed to be. Bell toll coming from. Good lord.
Thomas, Toa, George, <laughs> and Van Dyke. What? What is this? Seems like there's some kind of force field. No idea what's powering it, though. Oh my! There's something very strange about this. Very strange indeed. This academy may have been founded by Emperor Dreykels, but this particular building dates back long before even his time, I believe. Principal Van Dyke, what are you all doing here? Reen? Ah, and Sarah's with you too! So, you've come. What's going on here? I'm sure you heard the tolling of the bell earlier. Apparently, as soon as that started, this barrier appeared. We've had several students testify that was the case, at any rate. Looks like it's covering the entire building. I tried the direct approach and hit it with a hammer, but it just absorbed the impact. Wow. So it's some sort of field that negates any physical force applied to it? We've known from the beginning that this building was one big mystery, but it seems we didn't realize just how big. <sighs> hmm. Want me to call out Lammy and have him smash through? Don't bother. It'd just be a repeat of what happened in Lohengrin Castle. Yeah, nothing we tried could even scratch that barrier. And this one seems a lot like it. Hmm. Gather the staff for an emergency meeting. I'm afraid we'll have to prepare for the worst. Yes, sir. I suppose we have no other recourse at this point. Toa, going forward, let's assume that the second day of the festival and all related events will need to be cancelled. George, I'd like you to gather your equipment and keep a close watch on this area. Yes, sir. Understood. Wait! Are you really going to cancel the festival? Under these circumstances, there's not much else we can do. It's just a barrier. If the building is still like this tomorrow morning, there's no way we can let visitors onto the campus. We have no idea what's happening in there either. The risk of danger is too great. It's possible we might need to evacuate the Academy. Or even all of Trista. No way. Damn it. Is that our only option? I guess from a risk management point of view, that's the only sensible course of action, but... <sighs> all that work. All that effort. Over Wasted. the past month, we've poured everything we have into getting ready for this festival. Maybe we wanted to prove we could put on just as good a show as the other classes. Maybe we wanted to impress our families. Maybe it's just that being with friends and working to make something great is its own reward. Reen. Yeah. That's all just secondary right now. What's really important is our chance to leave a legacy here. To do something new classes might look at and aspire to. Winning or losing, that doesn't really matter in the end. And it doesn't ultimately matter whether our show is a smash hit or totally tanks. Because what we worked for isn't fame or bragging rights. We worked to put on the best damn festival we could. So all I'm asking for is a chance to see that thrill. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh. He's right, you know. I'm with Reen on this too. <laughs> Perhaps the best we can put forth will amount to nothing in the end. But even if it does, as long as we have a chance to do something about it, we won't just take this line down. Yeah, we spent way too long practicing to just throw it all away. Besides, it'd be super lame if we missed a chance to strut our stuff! Since the beginning of the year, it's been our class's responsibility to investigate the old schoolhouse. That's right, and it just so happens that we haven't made our monthly visit yet. You guys are actually serious. Now's as good a time as any. <sighs> sure looks that way. Man, hearing you guys so fired up brings a little tear to my eye. Well, I certainly admire your spirit, but spirit alone won't be enough to get you past this barrier. Oh, Reen, 
What's that light? Huh? What is this? It's coming from your Arcus pouch. Yeah, but why? Hmm. It looks like the quartz is shining. They all are. What? What's happening? I did say these Arcus units were special. Now all of our Arcus units are glowing. What's going on? I doubt it's mere coincidence that this light is the same hue as the barrier. You know, this actually reminds me of our very first day in the old schoolhouse. Indeed. We were all connected together through our Arcus combat links. It does seem similar. <laughs> Mine's doing it too. Ooh, this is so neato! The, the time, time is Oh, they said it. Now revealed. Reen? Reen! Almost looks like he's causing a sympathetic resonance with the field. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. It's an invitation. Like I and the rest of Class 7 are being called in. I'm sorry, sir. I guess they ended up taking after their teacher a little too much. <laughs> then you've been a fine instructor. I stand impressed with your students. Besides, making the choices that define you is part of growing up. And plus, the glowing is kind of freaking me out a little bit. You can pass through the barrier, and even if you did, it's not like I could actually go after you. It's currently 1940 hours. In other words, 17, 740. I'll permit you until 0 hundred hours to conduct your investigation. Midnight. Any later, and you won't get enough sleep to put on a rousing concert after all. Sir. Then we can... You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a light for those who'll come after. Go on. I'm not going to chide you for being rash. Not this time, anyway. And may the goddess guide your steps. Don't forget, too, that discretion is the better part of valor. Retreating isn't always a cowardly option. Instructor Sarah. Mm. Instructor Thomas. Right. Understood. Be careful in there, everyone. We'll do whatever we can out here to back you up. I'll leave the engineering building open for the night, so come on over if you need to use the facilities there. I'll go ask the shops in the cafeteria to keep the lights on for you, too. Thank you. All of you. We're counting on you. All right, let's go! Just walk right in. Freaky. I just gonna have access to everyone? That'd be great, actually. Is there a new floor open? 
open. Yeah. Do it. Another door. What is this? Glowing cogs? We've seen some strange stuff in this schoolhouse since we started coming here, but I think this takes the cake. Hmm. Confirming release of the sixth lock. Potential awakener detected. The time has come. Commencing the second trial. This looks the same as the red door we found on the fourth floor, but... It seems like there's an even bigger surprise behind this one. I'm very curious about this sixth lock and second trial business. Do you think the locks refer to each of the floors we've cleared so far? What's a potential awakener? Is it talking about one of us? He's talking about Reen. I can scarcely venture a guess. But what seems certain is that we're here tonight because we were meant to be here. Yeah. <clears throat> Reen? Huh? Are you okay? It's the mark on your chest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But how do you... Call it intuition. It should already be quite apparent, but we're headed somewhere no living eyes have seen. Are you sure you're all prepared? Emma? I stand well, ready. well, you certainly seem to be in the know about all of this. And how long has Celine been here? The entire time. Back at the start of the year, I know we all had our doubts. We've made it this far because we've accepted each other for who we are. And I think being part of Class 7 is a big part of that. Even if the world were to stand against us, we'd have each other. The challenges we face, we face together. Rain. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. That's Laura, cutting right to the heart of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever recall accepting him. I could say the same about you! <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Honestly, if they ever stop bickering, I'd probably miss it. It's just one of those things that makes us what we are. Aww, you guys have a good thing going. Wish I was a part of it. You are. You said it, Short Stack. Don't know that there's much of a place for a slackadaisical second year either. What kind of talk is that? You two belong here just as much as the rest of us. After all, you passed through the barrier. And I think you'll have to agree, Emma. Class 7 is the best there is. <laughs> Well said. Maybe I still have a ways to go before I fully understand the whole class system here. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. 
Then what are we waiting for? You're not from around here, No one are might you? ever know what we do here tonight. We're not doing this to prove to others how great we are. We're doing it to prove it to ourselves. To face down our fear, conquer it, and earn the answers we deserve. Reen. Alright, I won't try to dissuade you. Let's go earn our chance to leave our mark on this academy. Yeah! Well, that's certainly something. Explanation. This is beyond imagination. Still, this trial is ours to overcome, and overcome it we shall. Yeah, you're right. So, how about it, Reen? Any words of wisdom from our fearless leader? Huh? What do you want me to say? Whatever you want, I guess. Gotta have a little pep talk before we begin the mission. Yep, just think of it as another of our old schoolhouse adventures. Let's do this, boss man! <laughs> just don't say anything you might regret later. <sighs> you guys aren't making this any easier. Don't worry, Ring. You can always look back on it in the future and get revenge. All right, Class 7. Our mission is to explore the seventh floor of the old schoolhouse and find a way to return the building to normal. Are you ready to give this everything you've got? Yes, right. sir! Reigns S-Craft, Flame Shrike, Slash, Slash, Slash. Flame Slash has strengthened to become Azure Flame Slash. Emma's along for the ride, whether I want her or not. And for this ride, I want Elisa, Eusis, Elliot, Laura, and Gut. Milliam, Pro. Eusis, I want Gaius. I need my wild card. Let's go. We come back for the rest later. I need y'all on reserve. Stand ready. But unfortunately, I don't know how much time I got after this. Green. Hold on to that thought for now. Let's just keep moving. Right. Yeah. Not that one. We have barriers in place. My guess is I have to go through these gauntlets. <laughs> yes. Huh. There seems to be a treasure chest here. Yes, but I can't do anything with it right now. Guardian of some kind. There's no getting out of this. Here they come! Be careful! Here we go! Alright, let's do this! Right. Leave it to me! Yeah! Oh, Moon, shield us from harm! 
present jack. I can do this. Those seem definitely on fire, so I don't think fire is gonna help me. Fire! Leave it to me. They're open. Go. Death blow. Ah, oh, shit. Whew. I'm glad that I have that. I'm very glad that she has that passive. Let's go. All right. There. Here we go. Come on. I'm sorry, everyone. Huh? My turn. Let's go for it. As you please, gather on my blade. Ah! Damn. This is my secret weapon. Charging all the energy. That was certainly something. What are these things? If it's a here we go. I go where the wind takes me. I'm a little afraid of these things. Uh, you know what? This needs an episode all its own. I'm gonna end this one here. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I travel to the end of this corridor. This wherever the fuck I am, and just figure out what's going on. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing